Hello everybody, much like a phoenix rises from the ashes, our team shall return from the brink of defeat and hopefully beat Cynthia. Welcome back. Uh, last time we kind of lost everything. I've spent the last week very sneakily at work, uh, you know, building up a backup team. Starting with Amp, a little, a little Pichu. It's not a little Pichu anymore. I think this is probably my highest level Pokemon. It can learn Thunder Punch? Absolutely not. Everyone has a move pool. Now, you might be realizing on the side there, there's a singular new addition that we did not catch on screen. And that would be Pluto. I figure, you know, Neptune's gone into retrograde, it's time to bring out Pluto. I just fucking maxed his speed. And I didn't really have any other good moves for him. He only really knew psychic moves out of the gate. So I gave him flamethrower just for a bit of extra type coverage. You remember our big boy Slickback? I gave him fly so that, you know, any annoying Pokemon we can stall out for an extra turn. Uh, can stall out things like, not Merica, what's it called? The, the barrier thing. You, you know what I mean. We got Coolio. Um, so... Tentacruel can't learn Toxic is something that I've learned. So that's kind of what he was going to be on the team for. Like I was going to give him Toxic Spikes and maybe Toxic as well. He can't learn either of those anymore, apparently. So that uh, kind of fucked that up. Um, I also don't have any Black Sludge, which was the other <laughs> option to give him. So now he's just, you know, he's a little bit bulky. He's a free switch in. Yeah, that's all right. We have Amp. Our cheesy fucking Raichu, who's hopefully gained some speed. 180's not terrible. He had like 130 speed before the evolution. It was rough, man. It was rough. I mean, he's, he's a little bulkier, I guess. It's whatever. But that 174 special attack, it ain't bad. Anyway, plan for him. Sub up. Nasty plot. Hope for the best. Kaza, obviously. We're bringing him back. Uh, Calm Mind, Psy Shock, Psychic, for the, you know, regular use, for anything with insanely high special defense, and for anything that resists Psychic, and of course Calm Mind for, you know, a little something something on top. But next we've got our Ace in the Hole here. Do that! So, I've decided I'm going to win, and I'm going to do it incredibly dirtily. As you can see here, my friend here has an ability called Simple. Any stat changes, it gets a doubled. Now, I did talk very, very early on about a certain strat you can do with this involving a little move called Curse. You know what other move uh, Bidoof here can learn? Double Team. Which means every time I use Double Team, uh, they become twice as likely to miss. So, uh, yeah, that'll be good. And, uh, yeah, that's the whole shebang here. Not a bad team. I do miss my lovely boys. But, as time, you know, time marches on. Oh, I've also got to hit a little. Hold on. I, I did this in my Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm not doing it this time. Haha. <laughs> Turn it off for the grinding. It takes a long enough time without having to watch every animation. I've blown all my money again on more of these stupid super full restores. I got plenty of them. We've done grinding, you know? And the thing is, I think if we wipe again, I'm gonna call it a loss. Because, I mean, yeah, sure, we got protein, but the rest of these guys, I mean, I could go, like, I could have gone and caught the other two lake spirits. I was like, eh, it's maybe a little bit cheesy. I did level up a couple of these guys as well. Yeah, so you're 30, you're 34, you're 33, 30, 13. Just because, you know, I need something in my party. All right. So. I think I'm going to avoid using my lovely barrel for the start. Because I think it would just be too easy. Maybe. Now, this is exactly what I did last time with the Gengar. And, not the Gengar, the Gyarados. And I did not live to regret it. However, we have gotten a fair few more levels than we had last time. 
think, you know, I'm not super duper worried here. Everyone's fully healed. Everyone's cruising. Ready to go. Oh, yeah, everyone's got items, too. Um, increase special attack accuracy. Or is that damage? Slightly boost the power, so damage. Psychic damage. Can move quick, even when he's slow as shit. That'll be important. Magnet, stronger electric attacks. Dark plate, stronger dark attacks. Water thing, stronger water attacks. So everyone's got their gimmick. Yeah, yeah, hello to you two. We've definitely not fought you before. This isn't my second time around. We're, we're gonna first try it. That's how we do it. Yeah, this guy, this guy I'm not super worried about. Then again, I am leading with a psychic type. Now that I think about it, and you do know Bug Buzz. I mean, how much damage could he really do? Is what I said when I got my Dialga killed, so we're swapping him out. He'll either do a bug move or a psychic move. I resist one, immune to the other. He went for light screen. You know what? It's fine. Stronger against special moves. Good thing we've got physical. Skadoosh. So for this first guy, I'm not super worried. We should outspeed, you know, most if not all of them. Good level up. Thank you, sir. Heracross. I'll keep it going. Not super worried about a Heracross. We resist fighting. He may know a rock type move, but we should outspeed. We do not. Slickback's not very tanky. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> He's alive though. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, well, no fucking wonder. Get out of here. What a jerk. Can you believe this guy? Critting on his first goddamn attack. Okay, I'm gonna switch into. See, I haven't used Amp, so I don't know how strong Amp is, which scares the shit out of me. Um, go for... You know what? No time like the present, right? I think it does use Quiver Dance, maybe? Right? Or something? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna set up a sub. Okay, we are faster. Huge news. Look at this little beep. I love it. What do you do? Bug buzz. Does it resist it? Um, what the fuck? Hold on a goddamn second here. Uh, BDSP bug buzz. You care to explain this shit to me? Bug buzz hit through substitute. Um, building the mother of bug buzz attack went through the damage is normal. The reason bug buzz passed through the substitute is because as of generation six, sound based moves like bug buzz have the ability to pass substitute. Oh my god. Okay, well, I mean. I'm just going to do one of these, because that means you also can't break my sub. So, uh, I'm going to take advantage of that. There's the Quiver Dance. That's what I was waiting for. It is faster now, though, which is scary. Okay, it doesn't have a light screen anymore. I might just go for the kill this time. Yep, we're still quicker. Okay, good stuff. Skadoosh. Good stuff. Look at that. That instant switch. Okay. Vesper Queen. Pretty safe stay in. I'm pretty sure attack order isn't a sound based move, so. We'll go for a nasty plot here. I'd assume that we're still quicker. We sure are. Now, if she goes for the defense thing, I might just use a second nasty plot. Because we know that Drapion's coming. Okay, attack order's fine. Does it break the sub? It does, okay. I would really like to keep that up for the Drapion, if you don't mind. So, if you could, uh... 
just, you know, do something else. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Alright, lady. Hit her with a lovely little T-bolt. Skadoosh. And so we've got one guaranteed turn against that stupid Drapion. Because he does no Earthquake. So uh, it's important that we can tank a hit. On the off chance we don't insta-kill them. Which, you know, there's a chance. Okay, big boy. Hit him with the Surf. Oh wait, T-Bot's also effective. I would've... I always forget his typing, he's so weird. Are you bug poison? I keep getting in my head that he's dark. Fucking... Drapian. Dark poison? He's not even a bug type. You defeated Elite Four, Aaron. What a scrub. I will now concede defeat, but I think you came to see how great bug type Pokemon can be. Get out of here. You weren't challenged last time, you weren't challenged this time. Shoot. Uh, okay, so first Pokemon next battle is a Quagsire. He will always Toxic first, which gives me plenty of time to use Pluto to set up rocks because they, our lovely ground grandma friend, has a bunch of really annoying people that all have sturdy. So rocks are important. Well, well, you're back. Get out of here, Bertha. Okay. Fight me, coward. Quagsire, no worry. I know your game plan. He's got a toxic move one. I've got levitate so he can't hit me with this stupid earthquake. In fact, I can even set up for a sweep on Pluto here. Go for the Stealth Rocks. Yep. Love me some Stealth Rocks. Very good move to have. It knows Surf. Didn't go for the Toxic. Good thing we're an absolute fucking nightmare machine. Hit him with the Nasty Plot. Skadoosh. Double that special attack up to 400. There's a top. Ooh, good dodge, good dodge. You know what? Take it up to 600. Use Surf again, please. Or Mr. Toxic again, if you don't mind. Also, how can this fucking thing learn Toxic, but my Tentacruel that is a poison type cannot? I mean, I'm just asking questions, you know? I know people don't want to answer them, but there are questions that need to be asked. Get out of my face. Skadoosh. Sudawuda, one of the ones with Sturdy. But now we're fast as hell. We're gonna take him out with a lovely Psychic. See you later. Boom. And of course, you've got a Golem who will probably be in next. That also is blessed with the horrible move known as... Oh no, you're a Whiskash. Ooh, I remember you being kind of bulky. You're a bit of a bulky boy, I think. I mean, we do have a lot of special attack, though. What are you... Are you going to be able to tank that? No, okay. No chance. Do, 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 do. Thank you. I will not swap. It's just a golem. What I really don't get is why she doesn't send out the hip out on earlier. Like, that would make this fight actually kind of tricky. Otherwise, she's a bit easy at the end of the day. But like, you know, having sand up the whole time, that would be so annoying. Make it so much more difficult. Coolio dinged. Thank you, my friend. Come on. Come on, buddy. And... Hit him with the... Yeah, Psychic. Whatever. Psychic is good. Alright. That's two down. 
But again, these two didn't give us any trouble last time. I wasn't worried about these two. You defeated Elite Four Bertha. Well, dear child, I must say that was most impressive. Your Pokemon did the best and blah, 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 blah. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. Thanks, Gamma. Okay, so we've used a little bit of slick. Uh, who haven't we used? We haven't used... No, we haven't used Kazza, but Kazza... Using Kazza kind of scares me, man. How fast are you? You're actually insanely fucking fast. Okay, yeah, cool, you're in. I'm pretty sure... Oh, but your first fighter, he's a physical attacker. You got Rapidash up front, right? Our defense, not the best. Wrong one. Um, We haven't used Coolio either. Maybe I'll send Coolio out. You know, and water. Water's good. Hello, Flint. Yes, I know. I saved Volkner. Save the day. Truly, I am the champion of the people. But that's not going to cut it today, my friend. Uh, skadoosh. Hit him with the surf. It's faster. Of course it landed the, like, 60 accuracy hypnosis. What a piece of trash. Good thing is, it cannot do any damage to me. Got too much natural bulk. Oh, it does no Iron Tail, though? I don't think I've seen it use that one before. Or I did, and it's just been a while. I remember it having... Shit, I think I had Poison Jab. And it's obviously got some sort of fire attack. Ah, uh, Steelix. Now we can take a Steelix. I mean, we should be able to tank an Earthquake. You know, if we don't just outspeed. We do outspeed. So, can you survive this, my friend? No, you cannot. You do not have Sturdy. Goodbye. Should have taken the Sturdy into account, I guess. Lopunny. Uh, absolute fucking nightmare creature. Um. <gasps> oh, I've got the fucking perfect strat. Watch this shit. You ready for this? So, yeah. Oh, what you putting in Slickback for? He's part dark type and he's not very defensive. How are you gonna do this? Oh, with a little move called... Fl oh god, it's faster. This is gonna hurt. Okay, never mind. It didn't do jack shit. How is it faster? Okay. I mean, I was just up in the air that time. That one's on you, bud. Okay, well, say goodbye. So, uh, that was a horrible switching. But we didn't get punished for it, so it's okay. We are very high level. So I know what you're going to do. You're just going to minimize. But you're also a ghost type. Which makes you weak to psychic type. Which means it's finally your time to shine, my friend. Bam. Now, we can't leave him in against the Monferno. Because it's going to be fast as hell. So that's just not an option. Take him out. Goodbye, my friend. You have a sat? Wait, what is that? Citrus Fairy. Will it wisp you, you cheeky boy? How are you faster than me that time? Whatever, just get out of here, would you? What a jerk. Thanks for the double miss, though. I do appreciate that. Now, for Infernape... We need someone a bit bulky. I mean... 132 defense? He's my bulkiest physical boy. 
So I'm bringing you in. You've also got Surf. I'm pretty sure you also resist fighting. Maybe. Inferno. Okay. Hit him with the Surf. <gasps> it was Thunder Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Crit! Yeah, thanks for- Wow! That's kind of fucking triple threat, huh? Electric attack. Crit! Paralysis. What a dickhead. And of course it has the focus sash. Situation is heating up. Yeah, that's fine. You fucking heat up all you like, you gigantic... Something or other. That would not be a very nice thing to say to a person. Now you might notice, I've been specifically avoiding using a certain Pokemon. I'm saving him for the next one. Oh, I am saving him for the next one. I will show you just how disgusting he's going to be. Because it's going to be bad. It's not, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fair. It's going to be a slaughter. And that's what I'm hoping for. Goodbye, Mr. Flint. You and your red afro. Yeah, yeah I know. Ooh, burnt right down to cinders. Du -du -du. Ooh, burnt right down to cinders. Okay, see you later. Okay, so, um... It may not look like it, but our tentacle actually did work for us there. One by surviving. Always big. And two, it managed to break the sash, which was important. Like, if we got to low health but didn't break the sash, he would have just full healed, and then I would have had to do it twice. Which, you know, increases the chance for misses and things like that. So, next time, we will get our vengeance on this purple-haired asshole that killed God. Uh, so for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.